Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Friday. Happy Friday. I am going to be a little bit flustered just because I had planned on doing my video downstairs today, and it's the first time I've ever really tried to do that with this new laptop. And <clears throat> when John so nicely, you know, hooked up all my wires and speakers and my bass and all this kind of, I mean, I wouldn't doubt if there's like woofers and subwoofers. I don't know what there is. I mean, I could just jam out up here, let me tell you. But he told me, oh God, my TV is not. He told me that I could unplug just a few of these wires and take it downstairs. And I should have gotten him to do it this morning, but I didn't. So I tried to do it myself. And when I got down there, I kept getting an error message. My camera would come up, but it um, kept giving me a message. It wouldn't record. So, um, and then I even tried on my just bad quality laptop, or not laptop, but you know what I mean, the webcam that comes on the laptop that's not HD, um, and it wouldn't even work. So, I don't really know what I did, and then I was freaked out because I could see the battery power, like, um, dwindling down. So, anyway, there's my, you know, I always have a little bit of drama, and I don't know where my girl is. I better take these. I had to bring everything back up here, and I had taken all this stuff downstairs. You know, it's just the way it goes. Here she comes. I was wondering where you were, Chanel, also known as Shanene. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start off with, and this may bore you, but it really is something that I love, something that um, this, I got actually bought this, was it? maybe last weekend and I love it and I wanted to tell you about these two because I really 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 like these you know I am a toothbrushaholic I love to brush my teeth I like to floss my teeth I've already told you about those little um these little things here she is hey what you doing hey baby hey Oh, I just put that flower in that little Bobby Brown. Um, I thought that would be the cutest little vase. It's that Bobby Brown bath oil thing. Here's the top. And I washed it real good. And I put one of my camellias in there. And um, you guys hear her purring. But I, I have all ideas she's going to have to shake that out. Usually she checks out everything. Anyway. In a vlog, I told you about these things. It's these little gum things that you take and then you can clean like in between all of your teeth. Well, in another vlog, I told you that when I went to, but I didn't post this one that I told you this. When I went to the dentist to get this last um, crown repaired, I actually got a new crown because after a while they just, you know. And um, I showed him these and he said, yes, they do like these but only if you have big spaces. He said, if your gums are coming down like they should, you know, right in between your teeth, don't try to cram these things up in there because you could, you could harm your gums. So I've gotten where I only use these like in my, you know, I have that space right there. I'm thinking about getting Invisalign. If any of you out there have had Invisalign as an adult, um, let me know. It's just, it's in my head. It's one of those things. I have a couple of things in my head, and that's one of them. And I, I don't know because I don't really mind my teeth being a little bit messed up. I think it's like, I don't know, it gives you character. It makes you just a little, I don't know. I just like it. But I'm worried they're going to get worse and worse um, because I've noticed that the spaces in the front have gotten a little bit worse. But anyway, so just let me know you what said you think kind about of that. from my eye teeth back. So, I wanted to tell you that. So, if you've got really good gums and tight spaces, don't use these. But, these. This is my new tooth addiction. It's the Glide Oral-B. I have them everywhere. I have them in every car, every, down in this, I have them by my sink, in the kitchen. And it's these. And I also bought um, the other ones. Where are the other ones, Chanel? Hmm, have I used all of them? have. Um, I also bought the ones, the same brand that are supposed to be whitening, and I didn't care for those as much. They say clean mint, but they're really not. And then I'm, now I'm going to tell you one of the reasons I like these. For one thing, 
I like them because of course I like to brush my teeth or floss my teeth and um, another thing is these are scope outlast so they have um, freshness they're shred resistant or whatever but they're very minty and they're not my mom uses the ones that are Listerine I don't like those because I feel like Listerine makes my stomach turn so I was kind of hesitant about the scope but I went ahead and got them and I love them they are so minty it is like eating a mint after you have eaten and I don't know if you're like me but when I get through eating there is just something I my body feels like in order for me to complete a meal I have to have something sweet and I don't know how I got into that but um hey babe and um so I am trying to used to what I did here comes sassy <laughs> used to what I would do is just take um or after dinner or even when we come home from out to eat I would eat just the dark chocolate from Dove and then we got into the dark chocolate with almonds and then I went from three pieces to four pieces and so this week I have been back on the wagon low carb and I'm trying to cut out that sweet thing so what I've been doing is using these because these have just kind of like that sweet taste to them and it you know gives you that fresh taste in your mouth and I feel like it really helps me with that feeling of I need something sweet after I eat and I even have them like in Bunny, my car, and after I eat my salad at Zaxby's, I sit there and I will floss my teeth. And a lot of times I'll use one for the top and then I'll use another one for my bottom teeth. And that way I feel like my breath is fresh and, you know, I kind of cures that need to want something else to eat. Because I think that's part of it is my craving for something sweet is almost like wanting to get that other taste then out of that my leads mouth or something. Into I don't know. my next purchase that I wanted to tell you about. And um, here is the charger and it is a water pick. And when I was little, my grandparents had a water pick and you know, I spent the night over there a lot. This is my mom's parents and my mom's youngest sister is John's age. And so she was only 10 years older than me. So when I would go spend the night with my grandparents, my brother and I, you know my aunt would be there and I remember especially I loved when I got a little bit older and she was dating and I would just she was so patient she would let me just sit there and watch her get ready and you know I would just spend the whole day with her getting ready for that date she would usually bake a cake or some cookies or something for her date for who is now her husband my uncle Mike and um, this is the aunt that set me up with John she had worked with John for like 20 years so anyway um, I remember her using a, you know, they had the big water, what am I trying to say, water pick and water flosser, this is called. And, you know, they always ask you about this at the dentist and tell you how good it is for you. And I never really wanted, I don't have space for that thing on my bathroom counter and I really didn't want it in my kitchen, which goes into another thing. I, the kids and I, I think I got this from my mom, we like to brush our teeth in the sink the kitchen sink a lot and I've noticed because I've set up like a little basket with their toothbrushes and everything in it right by the sink it's a pretty little basket I've noticed that they will brush their teeth more often and I think it's because you know how kids get kind of lazy they don't want to just they don't want to go out of the mainstream and go brush their teeth and my mom's always brushed her teeth at the kitchen sink she would even use just like the plain baking soda she had it like in a shot glass and, um, oh goodness, uh oh, <laughs> trying to be nice. And um, so bottom line, I brush my teeth. I don't, before I go to bed, I brush them in the bathroom, but sometimes I brush them at the sink. And I wanted to put the water flosser thing in the kitchen. And when I went to buy one, I saw this one, which is just handheld. It comes with two little um, heads here. And I've got it on the first one that is has less pressure. They recommend starting with this one. And it has this little quick start thing here. You should have seen the first night that John and Brooke and I were in the kitchen trying to figure out. We put the head on it because you had to charge it for 24 hours. You just plug this in. I have it plugged in right by the sink. And then you plug this in and you charge it. And then when you're ready to use it, you can just take it out. And I've even given it to Will in the shower. I told him to floss his teeth in the shower because it is it can get messy and um 
So when Brooke and John and I were trying to figure it out, I was trying to figure out how you took the head off and I accidentally pushed the start button. The on button is right underneath the button that you push to take this off. And it was like shooting across. I told John it was three stooges and I was curly <laughs> or shimp. <laughs> And he was Mo because he had to grab it and take charge. And I think I, I shot across Brooke's face, across the cabinets. It was hilarious. But um, anyway, so you put it on. Okay, before that, you just fill up this reservoir here with water. And it's the perfect amount for one little session of floss in your teeth or water floss in your teeth or whatever. And water pick in your teeth. And it is the water pick brand. And um, I have loved it. I love it. I love the other night I did an experiment. I had flossed my teeth up here, gone downstairs, brushed my teeth, and then gone to the kitchen sink and I was floss or water picking and some I had eaten blueberries that night. That was my dessert that night was I had been eating blueberries and I want you to know blueberry seeds still came out of my mouth after flossing and brushing. So I know this is boring, but teeth are part of our appearance. It's a part of how we feel. It's just a big deal. And um, I, I, she's right here looking at me. Where's my phone? I'll take a picture of where she is. Um, I went to Belk yesterday. I'd already gone to Ulta, and I went to Belk looking for a dupe for the... Um, I said the name wrong. It is 124M Pesh or Peach. It's not Delight. It's Passion. I'm pretty sure. Uh, those two I get mixed up because those are just like common names, you know, to go with Peach. But I'm pretty sure it's Peach Passion. And I was able to, I had already called out there and they told me they didn't have any left, but they did. So I bought, um, I bought some for I bought one for a friend and then I bought another backup or whatever, but I did go around to every counter trying to find a match for that and could not find it. But a lot of you said that you had been to your Belks and that you had ordered it online, so that's good. The closest thing that I could find to it, it was very, very, very close. And what was most important is this one had that same luster to it. It was just a little bit more of a pink tone than peach but it was the MAC Huggable Lip Color in Sweet Creation. And you know I would have gotten it, but they were out of it. So I didn't get it. And um, so if you want to try that, that's very close to that Lancome one that I love so much. So I and, went out there to do um, that. Then I went to the Estee Lauder counter to look at their lipsticks and they didn't have anything like it, but they had just put these out. And I was looking at them just thinking, oh my God, they were so pretty. And the girl came over laughing. She said, I see you found our new lip glosses. And they are just gorgeous. I wanted to, I swatched, I think, four of them on my hand. And I ended up with two. And I thought I would try the two that I knew that I would wear a lot and that I thought you guys would like. And the first one I have on today, and I have it on with, that's as close as I can get, I have it on with Lancome Bronzel, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, the first one I'm going to show you is called their Pure Color Envy Sculpting Gloss, and the first one is Envy Gloss 410 Inspired Mauve, and it is gorgeous. They all are just sparkly but in the best, most beautiful way. And um, they have a beautiful wand. Look how pretty that wand is. It's like glass. And then they have that cool, I guess that's the sculpting, is that, you know, the wand that kind of just sculpts right to your lips. And then let me, I got the two probably nudiest ones. And so that is the swatch. So you can see it does have some color to it, but it's still going to give you that nude lip. Gives you just that mauve purple tone. Let's see back here. Yeah, there you go. And it's just, oh, it's just beautiful. I'll take a picture when I get through swatching them. But I thought what I would do, I noticed that I had on probably more lip liner than a lot of you would wear. And then, so I think I'm going to blot and then put this on and then try on the other one too. Or maybe vice versa. I'll like be right back. 
so you can see how much of that lip liner. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to take that off. Okay. Um, first, let me show you the other one. And this one is called Discreet Nude. And it is the nudiest one. It's the first one on the little spectrum. And it is beautiful. It's kind of icy. So many of you are going like this. So you can see it has that vanilla. I don't know if any of you, if, oh, this reminded me, it's got that Vanilla Swirl by Bonnie Bell. That was always one of my favorites in my 20s. And, um, they, gosh, they smell like that too, I think. I think they might smell like that too. That is so funny. Okay, so let me put this on and see what you think. I hate to... So it's got, oh my gosh, I hadn't tried this one on you. I just got these yesterday. It smells and feels so good. It smells like vanilla, but not in a crazy artificial way. It smells so good and they feel so good. So that is the vanilla. It's not vanilla. I'm going to call it vanilla now. It's called Discreet Nude NB Gloss. And then um, God, here they are take it off. side by side, and there's just beautiful colors. So you can see both of them have those little teeny like micro shimmers, nothing like, not even as big as the YSL, the Chanel, or the Dazzle glasses, much finer. And um, not terribly sticky, just not like the, um, it's not like the rose one I have from Estee Lauder. Not that sticky. Just perfect amount. Okay, now let me put this one back on. Mm, they smell just like that Bonnie Bell Vanilla Swirl. Okay, so that is it. It looks better without all that lip liner. Next time I would just do it a little bit lighter, you know, you know what I mean, just with a lighter hand. And um, so I really think you need to go look at these. These are the two prettiest nude colors. There was a pink color that was real pretty, and then there was a plum color that was real pretty. But I'm happy that I just got these two because that's what I'm going to wear the most. This is just most. something I wanted to mention. It is the eye cream that my friend Amy sent me. It's called the Cucumber Eye Cream by New Two, N U Two. I have loved this. It is just, it's, it's awesome. It smells fresh, like the any kind of cucumber type things, but it's creamy. I feel like it helps moisturize it. Um, apply on the ring finger gently um, over entire eye area for additional benefits. Apply to the entire face as a light daytime moisturizer. I can see that it's not too heavy. But it's not gel. It's not like, you know, the Clinique gel ones or anything like that. And um, I've been putting it on underneath my makeup. And this morning I put it on and then took the kids to school and came and put my Armani Master Corrector on today. And it just had the best base. And so I went to read about it. And it gets great reviews. And I found it. I put a link down below for you. But I found it um, less expensive. And it doesn't expire till 617. So, but I really appreciate that, Amy. I love it. I know we're always looking for a good eye cream. Okay, um, speaking of gifts, let me go ahead and show you. I just checked my P.O. box this week for the first time, you know, since over the holidays. And I had a package in there with some Christmas gifts in there and Christmas cards, but I just wanted to show you this one. It was from a fellow beach, um, beach goer, and she sent me some really pretty stuff. Look at this mermaid cup. Oh, this mermaid cup. Oh, I love it. Love it. And some mermaid Christmas ornaments. They are Leoma Lovegrove Christmas ornament set from 2015. 
and I'd already taken my Christmas tree by the time I opened it, but I'm going to leave them packed up. And then this is from Starbucks, hot cocoa peppermint. Yum. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to try that. I don't know if I even saw this in there. Huh. But, so, love that. Thank you so much, Diane. And um, then I got um, more Christmas cards. Hoping you enjoy your mermaid items from one coastal gal to another. Diane, thank you so much. And then the McGuire family, Patty, thank you so much, everybody, for your Christmas This wishes. was actually kind of a little surprise because last time I was looking for the style book to tell you guys about, I, you know, on Amazon, when you look up one book, it'll, you know, tell you at the bottom, you know, other people bought these books too. Well, a lot of times when I see something like that or anything I see like on Amazon or whatever, or even Nordstrom sometimes, I will go ahead and put it in my cart. And then next time I go, you know, I'll look at it again or decide if I want it. And so John came up the stairs the other day. He had ordered some things off of Amazon and he brought this up to me. And I was like, you ordered that for me? He said, well, it was in the cart. So I went ahead and got it. But it is a new style book by um, Garance Doré. This is her. It's, it's about the author. And Garance Dior is a photographer, illustrator, author, um, yada, yada, get, awards and uh, let's see um, contributor contributed both as a writer and photographer to publications including American British Paris Vogue Wall Street Journal New York Times T magazine L the Guardian New York magazine um, originally from Corsica she currently lives in New York City this is her first book and it is a really cool style book I read some last night it's got her story in here um, how to find your style um, let's see what you know about yourself um, and then one thing I liked is about this is what you want to say what you know about your body um, what you want to be um, and that comes oh, that just that's one of the good things about she's 40 I believe that's one of the good things about um, becoming older and more mature and more confident um, and just I knew it not taking yourself so seriously you decide you kind of can make that decision on what what you want your style to be and go for it instead of being afraid of what people will think and um but heels um elegance is refusal she says no to what doesn't flatter her um the clutch um talking about zara oh uh, let's see the vintage t-shirt um like her basics and then it gets into um just all kinds of stuff, you know, so it's more than, you know, question your beliefs, make your own rules. It's more than just a, um, it's about her office, things New Yorkers do, um, growing beautiful, um, how to take a good picture, you know, full body picture, close up. Anyway, really good book, really pretty. I love the simplicity of it. And um, I was so glad he got it for me. So I wanted to tell you about that. And I don't know if I told you or not, but I had ordered a really cool pair of shoes. And I have looked at these since months now, probably since they first came out on their original website. And I thought about it and I was waiting for them to go on sale. And then when I was looking at the Refinery29 book, it just reminded me of these all over again. So I found them on sale at Nordstrom. And here they are, they're Via Spiga sandals. And the original pair I was looking at are gray, like a light gray. And the just the front of them is beautiful. Look at the jewels. And I have a pair, I have a couple of pair of Via Spiga shoes and I love them. They're so well made. They fit my foot just so nicely. They're so feminine. Even though these are kind of that um, blocky look, it's not too chunky and they're just gorgeous shoes and I found them on sale let's see the name of them is Alec and the color I chose is dark olive and they're true to size I got an eight I'll let you see that Pick between the gray black and olive and I had just gotten that um, necklace from Tammy that's the statement necklace from B BCBG that has that's black and it has like the dark green stones and I just loved that I thought that was the coolest look and it just was so pretty it made me 
more open to this color and then before I ordered them I called Brooke upstairs because Brooke has a really good eye for color and she's really good with fashion and um, she's very creative she's a lot more daring than I am and um, I love that about her I like that she is a lot more out of the box and so I called her up to see what she thought. I didn't say anything, and she thought the green ones too. We both thought that this would be a really cool neutral, even to wear with black, to wear with everything. And um, they're just beautiful. They're really, really, I'm not going to wear them today. I don't know if they go with what I'm wearing today. I didn't really think about that. Um, but I will wear them soon. I'll wear them this weekend so you can see them. And they're kind of that funky look. Like, I can't wait to wear them. I've been so inspired to wear dresses with tights. And I've just had the best time doing that this week. And um, so I might do something like that. Or you just never know. But I just think they're gorgeous shoes. And I really think that you would love them. And the heel isn't that high. So love these. Okay. And I think that that's all I have to show you over here. I have two jackets to show you um i can't remember oh this i'm so glad i thought about this um last weekend when i had when we were watching tv brooke and i were watching some things together um i watched we both watched a movie that i did not even know about but i was watching a video by um elisa here on youtube her favorites and she mentioned this documentary type movie on netflix and right after that i went i searched it out found it and brooke and i watched it and we enjoyed it so much and the um lady's name is iris apfel a um, documentary and she's that older lady that has the big round glasses and she always wears like a bright it's lipstick like her life story and it was so inspiring. It was so interesting. She reminded me so much of Sheila Fajal. So much. And she, I, I messaged Sheila. Sheila's in China right now with her husband. And Sheila has met her. And it just helped me, um, I don't know, helped me in so many ways. Everything does. Every, one, every time I watch one of those documentaries or read a book from a designer, it gives me confidence in what I like, and I just loved it. And um, I remember they said, um, they asked her what she is inspired, or to ask yourself, what are you inspired by, and go for it. And then she said, for everything, there is a season. And um, it's so true. You know, every, think of your life as seasons, you know, and there's just a, a time for it all. And um, anyway, I don't know if it was that or another, um, oh gosh, it seems like, did I read another article in British Vogue? Because um, I've got British Vogue written down here too. I write these things and then sometimes I think I'm going to remember what it tell you. But anyway, it was some designer I was watching and they were saying jackets, just how wonderful jackets were, um, especially when you get older or whatever, um, just how good they can be. For your you know for different body shapes um and so that's so true you guys know already i love jackets and i did not start really loving jackets until the last couple of years but i love it so i wanted to show you two new jackets that i got and um one of them both of them i'm pretty excited about i think you'll like so i'll be right back with my outfit of the day and i also have on a new pair of jeans um i'll go ahead and tell you about them because i know the i need a microphone to put over there but these are different for me they're kind of like, they're really not mom jeans, but they're kind of going along with that um, kind of phase or trend that's going on right now. And I typically, high rise is not my favorite. I don't feel as comfortable in high rise as I do in like a mid rise or kind of a mid to low. But um, the rep from Citizens of Humanity sent Kelly these for Christmas and Kelly was wearing them, Kelly Oliver. And I loved them and so she just got them in this week and so I got a pair they're called the Leah high rise classic fit and I got size 28 and this wash is called fade out and it's very similar it's that same premium vintage as like the Corey and the Emerson and um, so anyway I'll show them to you <laughs> I'll be right back 
So here they are. So you can see they come up high for me. They come up, well, there's my hip bones. There's my belly button. I'm long-waisted anyway. I have a long torso, and um, but I love them. They're button fly. Like I said, they're this cool, soft, like you've worn them for years kind of denim, but even these pockets are like so long. And um, so here they are, and I really like them. I like that they are, they're like a straight leg. So they, I like the way they come down straight, and then um, you roll them up, they come rolled up. And so they hit right at your ankle bone, which is the most flattering. And um, so here they are in the back. They kind of have good pockets, you know, pretty average. And I just love them. I think there's something different for me, but I don't feel, they're not like coming up to my ribs or anything. And I think they're just, they're perfect for me because I don't want to go too far that direction. Anyway, so, and then this is the other little top that I bought that day with the blushy colored one from Forever 21. And I love this color. And I just thought the leopard would look good with it. So this is the Below the Bell Hampton in leopard. And then of course my favorite nude pumps in the world. I was taking Bridget out wearing these the other day and I was thinking I need to go ahead and order another pair before they quit making them because I would be lost without these shoes. These are my go-to pumps, the most comfortable, the most worn pumps that I have. And um, so the first jacket I'm gonna show you, I owe so much thanks to my friend Jennifer. She told me that this was available again. And this is the Couples, let's see, Couples Sport jacket that HRH Collection Alex bought last year that everybody was crazy about and I couldn't get it was I ended up getting the more of like an athletic sweat jacket but um and it was unavailable sold out where they brought it back again this year at Saks and I had some Saks gift cards so I got it for it's um, regularly like two something and I got it for I think less than a hundred with my gift cards and it's made out of this stretchy I don't even know how to describe the material it's almost like a um I don't know it's not thick it's still thin but it's kind of a stretchy material and um the difference is um and I could zip it but I don't know I don't have all the stuff off the zippers yet here I'll zip it for you um, I was looking at the one from last year. It doesn't have this belt, but I love the belt because I love the way it looks when it's fastened. I even thought about wearing this like as a top today. It looks like I've twisted the bottom, but sorry, I would have taken all these off if I had thought about it. Here, here they're coming off. So here, I'll show it to you just up close. <laughs> I hope you can see. I did turn my microphone around, so I hope you can hear me better, but oh. It is so neat. It is a really cool jacket. And this is the medium. And I think it's perfect. And I've been told, Brooke told me I should always unzip these. But that's the cool thing, how I'm supposed to wear this. I think somebody told her that. So anyway, so here's this one. And um, let me show you, try on the other one and show it to you. But so if you wanted that one last year, like I did, gosh, and it even has real, is that, no, it's not a real pocket. Ooh, that's a real pocket. Huh, hey, see now, she's laying right down here. But yeah, it does have real pockets. Oh, I love it. I just think it's, it's awesome. Okay, enough about that. Okay, and then this one is one, and I'm gonna start showing you, I've been, um, collecting different coat hangers. You know, guys know I like coat hangers. And um, I've got a couple of them that I have collected. And um, so I thought I would start showing them to you every once in a while. But I have this one. I always thought Forever 21's hanger was so cool. And I was, I kind of have gotten to know them in there. So I was lucky enough to get one. <laughs> and, um, but this is a jacket that I have seen in there before. And um, then I saw it on Instagram that the bomber jacket, I like bomber jackets anyway, I really love the faux fur ones, and um, it wasn't very expensive, it's just plain black, and this is a large, it's $34.90 is the price, and it is very nice for a Forever 21 jacket. 
I love it. And I think it fits nicely, looks good. And I am going to put my Chanel pen, or you could put any pen. I've got that really cool hanger pen, that vintage hanger pen that one of my subscribers sent me. And I'm gonna put something on it. And I just think it is so cool. It's a good, really good jacket. And it would look good. This would really look good with a really cool pen over a dress, a little dress or something like that. Um, and so I think you guys would like this too. It's a nice little quilty lining in it. It's just really pretty. For accessories, I have on my gold bar necklace and um, I've just been keeping that on. I've really enjoyed it. Um, this is a ring that I have always loved. I bought it years and years ago, way before YouTube. So probably, I probably bought it 10 years ago. It has a really pretty setting. It's, um, I don't even know anything about it. I think I bought it, I either bought it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I'm thinking Marshalls. Marshalls used to have a small jewelry, a couple of tables, and I think I bought it there, and I'm so glad I did. It's one of my favorite rings. Um, nail polish is the Nails Ink from the Victoria Beckham, and it's called, I never can remember this one, Bamboo White. It's a really pretty, just neutral the earrings color. are, um, sorry, I'm losing my voice. They are some that John bought me that I love. They've got um, Peridot and Tanzanite stones in like white gold. And I love, you know, that style just kind of flips up. And um, I've always loved, um, Sapphire is my birthstone. And I've just always loved that deep, dark sapphire color, even the Tanzanite and any of those dark colors. And one day I would love to have like, two big like one carat each sapphires you know around my diamond or something i think that would be so pretty so and here comes sassy let me go get her because one of you said you haven't seen sassy lately so she's just shy so my mom's only seen her like twice ever here so let me go she get already wants to get down she knows go hey you don't hold me over here can you don't hold me over here she's so pretty this is the coolest thing about her is you know they told me she was they told me she was a um, calico and um, the main calico thing I'll try to keep her privacy but look at her bottom feet how calico -y they are <laughs> and then she's got this little orange you know tabby patch right here you can see her fur flying but oh she's a sweet girl yes he's a sweet girl <laughs> so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend I was just putting something in my empties this morning that I could not believe I had used a whole one of oh gosh I'm jealous now they're going to start picking on each other but um anyway um so i am going to do my empties video soon and it might be my last one because i feel like you guys see all the same things over and over again but anyway i'm going to do that i have a huge empties thing and i will see you soon Bye bye